Hey guys, I'm back. This is Little Brick here. Today I'm back with a new video on Killing Floor 2, just the basics of the class Commando. This is a very fun class, as it mainly focuses on using assault rifles and seeing out Stork as one of the many infected you can get in this game. I'm going over the overview of the weapons, so how effective they are, and how much you should use them. The Commando specializes in many other things. They have special perks that give them bonuses, and a few other things. What you are seeing on the screen now is the bonuses that the class gets after leveling. At level 25 you get bonus 25% bonus damage, weapon damage. You get to see cloaked enemies from up to 50 meters and you get health bar detection up to 50 meters. It is very useful at higher difficulties. You also get to extend Z time that is slow motion for up to 6 seconds and you get 50% uh, increased health. You can also configure a different skills to your class. These are the skills I have. My first one is Call Out, allows my teammates nearby to me to also see cloaked out stories. My second one is 50% more ammo capacities. Uh, tactical Reload is my third, Auto Fire is my fourth, and the final one is Rapid Fire. It allows me to shoot three times as, as fast in Z time. Now, now I'll be going over the weapons in the class. The first one is the AR-15, the second is the Bullpup, the third weapon is the AK-12, and the final weapon is the Scar. The first weapon is the AR-15. This weapon's okay, not very great. It's stuck in burst fire, and you start off with this weapon. It's an okay weapon if you did want a good for long ranges, but personally, after the first or second wave, I would probably buy the bullpup. It's much more effective, and this weapon's okay on higher difficulties such as Hell and Earth. This thing is an absolute bitch to use. I'd recommend you start to use other weapons and try to avoid this. Obviously, you have to use it in the first wave. It's much easier to use. The second weapon for the uh, commando is the bullpup. This is a very great assault rifle. It only costs 650 from the trader. It's really good fire rate. Really nice magazine size. It's a 30 bullet magazine, but obviously I got the 50 clip increase. I really, really love this weapon. I, I remember the first game I was in love with it. This game I'm in love with it. Tripwire's done a good job of balancing the weapons. And it's a really nice weapon to use. There's not really much disadvantages from it, except for the low damage, obviously, when you're on the higher waves, such as 5, 6, and 7. Plus, it's going to be very ineffective against, like, Scrakes and Flesh Pounds. The third tier weapon is the AK-12. This is a very good assault rifle. It's only cost $1,100, and it's really great. I always have people ask me, do you prefer the SCAR? or the AK-12, and I always say the AK-12 for one reason. It can be burst fired, I mean burst bullets, and also be fully auto. It's a really great weapon. It's the only, There's not really much downsides except for you can't get it into single shot for if you want a one bullet long range, you have to do that manually. And there's not really much disadvantage to this at all. It's a very great weapon, I would highly recommend it. It's really good against all bosses, is it really good against the final boss and against the higher tier enemies. The fourth and last tier weapon for the commander is the SCAR. This is a very good weapon. It's got slightly, slightly better stats than the AK-12, but it's got a little bit less ammunition. It's very, very good weapon. This is good. Most players use this. Everyone's in love with it. Pretty much no disadvantages. The only thing I really am still not a fan of is the scope. The scope isn't okay, but I prefer the red dot of the um, AK-12. This is a very good weapon against most things. It's really really almost overpowered at some points. Obviously on higher difficulties it's going to be a lot harder to rip through people and destroy them, but still a very effective weapon. I would highly recommend it. Hey guys, if you made it this far into the video, congrats. Uh, I hope this video helped you with playing this commando. My next video will be in the next few days of the support specialist. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please leave it a like. Also, comment on what you or your opinions on the game are and other things. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and subscribe for more content. I really appreciate it, guys. And please share my videos with your friends. As always, guys, thanks for all the support and I'll see you guys next time. Let me kill you again.